Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. We'll be discussing current affairs questions through MCQs and the topic of discussion is environment and ecology. Let us start with the questions first. So uh, there is a description of a species and we are supposed to identify that species based on the description. They are the smallest of the large wild cat species and are largely known to inhabit low elevation evergreen rainforest right so if that is the case uh, snow leopard is out of question right even lions are out of question it is categorized as vulnerable under the iucn red list of threatened species and is endemic to and is endemic to south asia so the description is about clouded leopard because clouded leopard are vulnerable their iucn status is vulnerable they are found in the uh, in the south asia and also in the parts of uh, southeast asia fine right? and again their habitat is low elevations in in evergreen rainforest and that's the answer of this question is clouded leopard next question next question is which of the following are the advantages of steel slag in road construction right so if steel slag is used which of the following uh, advantages will be able to get first of all what is a steel slag steel slag is an outcome of steel furnace right that means the steel furnaces used in steel industry they lead to production of uh, an of a byproduct called as steel slag right so let us consider the uh, advantages of using use of steel slag in road construction first is reduction in cost of road construction so if steel slag is being used which is a byproduct obviously it will lead to cost reduction so first statement is a correct statement second thickness and durability of road is increased this statement is an incorrect statement though durability increases durability of road increases thickness of uh, of steel slag based roads is not more it is lesser than the normal roads it is almost 30% lesser than the usual roads that we have and that's why second statement is an incorrect statement third reduce ghg emissions and carbon footprint in road construction activity obviously right because if we are using steel slag which is a by product our dependency on tar will reduce and as a result of that there will be reduction in greenhouse uh, emissions as well as carbon footprint will be reduced and that's why third statement is a correct statement next reduction in groundwater pollution right so this is also one of the impacts of the use of uh, of steel slag because steel slag it prevents the seepage it prevents the seepage or you can say the leaching effect will be more if we have steel slag and that will help us in the reduction of uh, groundwater pollution fine so second statement is an incorrect statement answer is c 1 3 and 4 so answer of this question is c 1 3 and 4 next question now in which of the following states one is likely to find living root bridges right so living root bridges of of the rubber tree of the rubber tree are found in the state of meghalaya are there in the state of meghalaya and hence answer of this question is a meghalaya next question consider the following statements regarding global tiger forum first it is a global alliance of governments and international organizations with the aim of working together to save wild tigers from extinction so this statement is an incorrect statement because this statement is not related to gtf it is a statement related to global tiger initiative not for gtf and that's why first statement is incorrect statement second its mandate include conservation of snow leopards as well again this statement is not related to 
GTF, it is related to GTI, Global Tiger Initiative, which was started in 2008. Fine. So, first two statements are related to GTI. Third, the Secretariat of GTF is located in India. So, this statement is correct. It is located in New Delhi. So, third statement is a correct statement. And that's my answer is D3 only. Fine. So, what is a GTF? GTF, Global Tiger Forum was established in 1994 and it is an intergovernmental body it is an intergovernmental body and the mandate of gtf is to provide leadership provide leadership for what purpose for for this for safeguarding the survival for safeguarding the survival of of tigers their prey population and their habitat for this gtf works right and gti on the other hand is uh, is was established in 2008 and it is the global alliance it is a global alliance of governments and international organizations which aim towards uh, towards saving of wild tigers from extinction that is gti not gtf fine and hence answer of this question is d3 only next question now with reference to coastal fisheries initiative consider the following statements so question is about coastal fisheries initiative of fao let us consider the statements uh, sorry, the, the statement, uh, the initiative is of World Bank. Let us consider the statements. First, it is an initiative of World Bank that aims to ensure that coastal fisheries contribute to food security as well as economic and social development. Right. So, this statement is a correct statement. It is an initiative of the World Bank for, the, uh, for ensuring that maritime resources are preserved and once we ensure the preservation of maritime resources that will lead to food security as well as the livelihood security leading to socio-economic development. So, first statement is correct. Second, it is funded by the Global Environment Facility, GEF. This statement is also a correct statement. Coastal Fisheries Initiative is funded by GEF. Right. So, both these statements are correct, but we are supposed to find out statements which are incorrect and that is why none of the statement is incorrect answer is d neither one nor two fine so answer of this question is d next next question is which of the following pollutants are monitored by by the system of air quality and weather forecast and research which is which is under ministry of earth science ministry of earth sciences Right. So, SUFFER is the initiative of Ministry of Earth Science. So, uh, SUFFER monitors all the pollutants mentioned in the, uh, in the list except carbon dioxide and ammonia. Fine. So, SUFFER monitors PM 2.5, PM 10, then it monitors ozone, carbon monoxide, it monitors oxides of nitrogen, it monitors sulfur dioxide, it monitors uh, methane CH4, it monitors uh, volatile organic compounds like benzene, toluene, xylene and also it monitors mercury. Right? So, these are the pollutants monitored by, uh, by sulfur. Right? So, first we should eliminate and that's why answer is B2456. Right? Answer of this question is B. Next question now. Which of the following species of vultures in India are critically endangered? Right. So, in India, we have almost nine species of vultures. So, uh, let us consider the uh, IUCN status of the vultures mentioned in the list. First, oriental white backed vulture. So, this is critically endangered. 
Egyptian vulture is endangered. It is not critically endangered. It is endangered. Then uh, Himalayan vulture, it is not threatened. Then long build vulture is critically endangered, and slender build vulture is also critically endangered. Right. So out of these five, first, fourth, and fifth are critically endangered, and that's why answer is D. One, four, and five. But along with that, along with these five, we have other uh, other vultures as well. For example, so sixth one is white white rumped vulture. White rumped vulture, and this white rum uh, white rumped vulture is critically endangered. Seventh is Indian vulture. Indian vulture. So Indian vulture is critically endangered. Eighth is red headed vulture. Red headed vulture. It is also critically endangered. And last is bearded vulture. Bearded vulture. And bearded vulture is not threatened. Fine. So answer of this question is D one four and five. Next question now. In which among the following tiger reserves you are most likely to spot a black tiger? So black tiger is not a new species of tiger, right? It is uh, it is the tiger species or uh, it is a tiger only, but only uh, the the uh, the color of this tiger is different than the usual tigers, right? And it is likely to Found uh, likely to be seen in Simlipal Tiger Reserve of Odisha, right? So answer of this question is C. Next question. Consider the following statements regarding Shunya campaign seen in news recently. First statement: It aims to accelerate adoption of electric vehicles (EVs) in the urban delivery uh, segment, right? So this statement is a correct statement. Uh, because Shunya campaign, it is trying to adopt electronic or electric vehicles in the urban delivery segment so that the uh, carbon footprint of urban delivery segment can reduce. So, first statement is correct. Second, it is an initiative of Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises. This statement is an incorrect statement because Shunya campaign is an initiative of Niti Aayog. It is an initiative of Niti Aayog, along with, along with the Rocky Mountain Institute, Rocky Mon Mon uh, Mountain Institute, that is RMI, India. Right. So it is the initiative of these, uh, not of Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises. And that's why answer of this question is A one only. Next question. Groundswell report seen in news recently has been published by. So the groundswell uh, report is published by the World Bank, and as per this groundswell report published by World Bank, climate change will be. Or uh, climate change is an increasing, increasingly potent driver for migration. Climate change is driving migration of people. That is the important observation of Groundswell report. Answer of this question is C. Right. So that is about uh, this test. So if you want to attempt this test, you can scan this QR code or you can visit the link given in the description box. So that is about this these uh, questions see you in the next class thank you